Hello everybody and welcome to Automatic Tech Tips. I'm Matt and I'm here for you automatically. Now today what I got for you is a microphone I got off of Amazon. This is the... Okay, so I don't have the name. I'll probably edit it in later. But what it is is it came in this cardboard box and it has elegance written on it. From Amazon. Let's see. Got some uh, directions. Alright, so this is Network K. Uh, Network K song dedicated microphone. And let's take a look at it. It's got a black with a gold finish. This looks like uh, matte, uh, mate black. Matt. Mate. Got a XLR down here. And it's got a volume and a. I'm going to assume is. Well, I'm not exactly sure what the echo is. This is the BM100FX. It's got a microphone cover. Comes also with a uh, little tripod here. And you guys are actually going to be shocked when I tell you the price. I'll be doing a sound test later. So you can hear the quality against something like the Siren Razor Elite Pro or Siren Razor Elite that I got. This is the mount, mounting arm for if you have a boom arm or something of that nature. And Here's your XLR cable. This puts off into USB and the audio jack. 3.5 millimeter, I believe. It's a really long cord. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and assume that you can probably here we go. Now you can probably take this on any boom arm. Now, I got this on sale during a lightning deal on Amazon for $29. And everything that came with this thing, besides the packaging, ah, get out of here. Besides the packaging, seems to be top notch. Now, I will be doing a testing of this later. And. You will hear, up close and personal, how it sounds against the Razer Siren Elite. Now, I have the Elite, and I'm pretty sure it's not the Elite Pro. Kind of messes me up a little bit because there's two different editions. One with XLR support and one without of the Siren Elites. But the uh, main thing I don't like about the Siren Elite is that it picks up the background noise. Which is... Terrible because it means I gotta go back and reshoot a lot of scenes when I do the video. When I do a video. Yeah. It gets annoying and it makes the editing process that much longer. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this through its paces and we're gonna see how good it is. Now, list price for this was about, I wanna say $79 at the time. So, this is a real bargain for what this thing is. It could be a really good microphone for those of you just starting out on YouTube. Because when you just start out on YouTube, there's two things you got to worry about. The video and the audio quality. You can have really good video quality with something like the Logitech C920. But it'll have terrible microphone. Which means your audio will be bad. I'll show you a comparison of the audio quality on the C920. And the audio quality of the Razer Siren Elite and the audio quality of this little microphone I got right here. And you can make the decision yourself from the unedited, the unedited footage. I mean, not footage, audio. Okay guys, so this should be what I sound like on the new microphone I just have plugged in. Now, I'm hoping that it's gonna come out natural sounding and maybe even 
just as good, if not better, than my Siren Elite. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the Logitech C920 integrated mic and we'll see how it sounds. Alright, so now as you can hear, there is clearly a difference between the Logitech C920 integrated audio and this little USB mic that I have right here. Now let's switch back over to the Razer Siren and see if there's a noticeable difference between them. So what you're hearing me on now is the Razer Siren Elite. And you can tell it's a lot better than the Logitech C920 integrated microphone. Or integrated audio, whichever you want to refer to it as. Now I'm going to switch back over to the little USB microphone that I have over here that uh, actually hooks up to the computer with a XLR to USB and 3.5 millimeter jack. All right, and this is the quality of the microphone that we have right here. This wonderful little microphone that I'm still not completely sure what the name is. Now, what I really like about this thing though is that if you wanted to, you don't even need to get a boom arm. You could just simply put this out of sight with a little tripod, maybe even put it in front of your webcam. If you're a Twitch streamer, or if you're gaming and you just want a decent quality mic, and it's, it's on a little tripod and it's not in the way, you can have it off to the side a little bit. You can have it in front of you. And honestly, I just like this thing. All right, and now we are back on the, we're back on the Razer Siren Elite. Now my thoughts on this microphone are, actually I think it's a better alternative than going out and buying something like the Razer Siren Elite. This thing was $79, came with the stand, came with the mount for the microphone, came with the cover, came with the XLR to USB and audio jack cable. And for the price I paid for it, $23, I am extremely happy with it. It's competing with my Siren Elite. Now, if that doesn't say something about the quality of this microphone, then nothing will. The only thing that I wish that you could do with this is I wish there was... The only thing I wish you could do with this was I wish there was a headphone jack on the microphone itself for actually listening to everything as you record. Now, I would say I'd more or less use the Siren Elite in a room made for recording where this would be good in just about any room. Don't have any noise dampening foam anywhere in my room, which is where I spend my time recording. And everything can easily be heard on the other side of the house with the Razer Siren. Now later on when I'm editing and I do another recording when I have people in the house and it's noisy and the TV is on on the other side of the house, we'll see if it manages to filter out some of that background noise. Now something I did notice, and I'm not sure if you picked up, but um, the Razer Siren picks up the noise of my fans and my computer where this little mic right here didn't I didn't hear it as much so what leads me to believe that there might be some active noise canceling from background noise but that may just be me I may just be a little bit delusional here and just not hearing things that I normally don't focus on all right guys so this is pretty much my review for the moment on the network K song dedicated microphone so until the next time, this is Automatic Tech Tips, and I'm here for you automatically.